Okay, I just want to discuss something about on my mind, the Lord. Just wanted to discuss this very important point. This very important point that I'm sure many other people, um, others, they have thought about this too, and others have posted it up. But this is on my mind, good Lord, this very important point, especially when it comes to those who really need the money. Many people, they don't need, you know, they don't need food stamps. They don't need welfare. They don't need it. They don't need it. So I want to make this very important point to those of you who need food stamps, welfare, and so forth, who have been doing their best to make it, who have been doing their best, you know, working day in and day out. Some of you have had jobs on and off, on and off. But for the point is, you are doing something. You are trying your best, whether people see it or not. This point that I want to make, why, when it comes, and I got to call this, got to say his name, because this, good Lord, when Trump does something wrong, or allegedly does something wrong, it break, good Lord, it seemed like it break the world news. It spread so quickly. Who's, who's spreading that, and who's helping it? Okay, but why aren't, why don't you all hear about the good news as quick as the bad news? Why don't you all hear about, how many of y'all have heard about the $100 billion Trump signed an executive order to help black communities? How many of you all have heard that? How many black communities have heard that? Or how much of that information have been withheld from the black people? and others who really need the help. But when it comes to food stamps, welfare, that spread quickly because of why? Who they put the blame on? Okay, again, when it comes to the good news and, and Trump just offered hundreds of millions of dollars to help solve this government problem, to help solve the border crisis. Millions of dollars have been offered. I wonder how many people are hearing the good news. The bad news or allegedly bad news is spread so quick in the black, among black people. It spread so quick. I mean, just quickly. Good God Almighty. But all of this good news. How come they are not helping to spread the good news like this? Hundred billion, a hundred billion dollars been uh, sent in to help black communities. How many black representatives seeing this money? How many? I mean, something is very wrong. A hundred billion dollars sent into the black communities. And this happened weeks ago, but that didn't break the news. People need to do their own research. Stop trusting all these. Look at all these black people. They was there witnessing, witnessing it. How come that don't break the news? Everything is just doom and gloom. Nothing good is happening. And let me say this again, dealing with the government shutdown border crisis, the man just offered hundreds of millions of dollars plus giving the illegal immigrants three years of help. I wonder, is that going to break the news? How many people are still whining and complaining about that? Now, I want the people that really need a government assistance, see, they the ones that really need to seek the Lord because some of these people, they got money. They don't need food stamp. They don't need government assistance. They don't need none of this that the man is offering. 
So they're going to be quick to bash the man no matter what he does to help the ones that really need to help. It's just like this stimulus package Obama sent out. How many black how many black people sought that much, sought even a dollar? But I guarantee you a lot of these, a lot of these black representatives sought that money. A lot of black preachers sought that money. And they probably have a bank account full of money, possibly because of it. But how many people that actually need the money get it? Did they see it? Or, good Lord, you all need to check your representatives. You need to check your, 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 your representative, whether it be black or white. All this money been sent throughout this nation. And y'all not seeing none of it? You're not seeing any of it? Something is wrong. Let me say this again. Not all of us saw the stimulus package money. But the black, rep the black representatives, the white representatives, whoever they are, I guarantee you they about fill their pockets up with it. But then head back to the cameras and blame it on others while their pockets are big. See, people, y'all can't trust everybody. They're filling y'all minds up with this hate. They are blocking the good news out. They won't tell you the good news. But as soon as something wrong, as soon as something allegedly wrong, they are quick to spread that news like a uh, like lightning flash. They break the news quick. They break, good God almighty, the Richter, they start a Richter scale earthquake. From the schools, from the pool, church pulpits, the political cameras on the mainstream news. Why are they unthankful? They're whining no matter what, murmuring no matter what good is being done. See, I believe those are some of the people that got to see. They have their money. There's something more about money than with them. But those that actually need the money, they don't see it nor are they hearing about it because that should tell people something if the mainstream news media is not helping to spread the good news as quick but when the bad news tape oh they zoom that in on every phone on every flat screen tv on every radio in the time what new york time Mag magazine and good god across the whole globe so quick why I guarantee you, they got their money. They getting their money. But as soon as something happens that they can put the blame on somebody else, the mainstream media, Hollywood, the good God Almighty, it just break the Richter scale. Something is very wrong. All this money being sent out. And the only thing that many black people is hearing, doom and gloom, doom and gloom. Where are the black representatives that's supposed to be uh just with the stimulus money? Now you got this money being good God, he's Trump signed this act about some days or weeks ago. It was this month, actually this month or last month, I think. How come the people that really need the money are not seeing the money in their communities and town? Who are in who are the representatives? Who you think the, got to use the money in the towns and the communities? Regardless of your uh, district or cities, regardless of what color they are, the money, if I'm not mistaken, goes to them, your representative, whether they be Republicans or Democrats, go to them and they have to do what's right with that money. So what are they doing with it? What are the representatives, what are your representatives doing with all of this money that you voted for? to help build up your community teams with your tax money, tax, uh, taxpayer money. They are there to help you all. Lord have mercy. Again, the government shut down the border crisis. Trump offered hundreds of millions, I mean over $800 million of uh, the first offer for one thing, then he offered another over $805 million for something else. And then the list goes on. And then I just saw some news. People still, man, Lord help me, still murmuring, still whining. 
plus the man is giving the government workers a back pay. So when the government get cut on, they're going to have money, money after money. How come that don't break the news as quick? I think people know why. It cut because it's more about political politics and money with them. They don't care nothing about y'all poor people. Because every time I look around, and with all the knowledge that we have, all the technology that we have now to get to look at both sides, look at you got news all on YouTube. Oh, uh, you got don't just look at the liberal news, look at the conservative news. Look at both sides. Look at what's going on in your community. What are your representatives doing in your community? What are they doing with all this money? They can blame this man. They can blame that man. But they getting that money, though. They getting that money. Why are they doing all that talking and whining and complaining about these problems? But all this money in America, and we had over $4 trillion budget, $4 trillion, not $1 trillion, $4 trillion, people. Four trillion dollars. Enough to take care, more than enough to take care of, of so much that need to be done. And we're only hearing about doom and gloom, especially in a democratic district. You live in a democratic district, you ain't gonna hear nothing good about Trump. Where I live in a predominant black democratic district, you ain't gonna hear nothing good about Trump. I guarantee you that. From the schoolhouse, from the church house, I don't know. May not be all of the individuals, but overall, when you live in a certain district or city, you're going to hear it overall. You're going to know what's going to be in the air. It's mostly hatred against Trump. But they ain't saying nothing about all this money right here. Where are the black representatives now? This money been sent out weeks ago. Or at least the act, have, it have been signed. This have been signed. How many people, they, their mouths are shut. They get quiet. That's the title of this media, quiet. The media get really quiet. The mainstream media, people in your communities, in these political offices, why are they quiet? Why do they get quiet when the money gets sent out? But when it, when it comes to the blame game, oh, they open in it. When somebody does something wrong or allegedly does something wrong, accused of something wrong, they break the Richter scale with, with the bad news. Filling these cheering minds up with, once again, doom and gloom, hopelessness. Y'all ain't going to never make it out of the of poverty because it's the such and such fault. But they ain't saying nothing about that stimulus money. All millions, what is it, millions of dollars that Obama sent throughout this nation? How many people sought that money? What did the black representative do for their uh, community? What did they do? How many people did they help with that money? I mean, of them didn't see nothing but a layoff, a job layoff. During the very time all that money was sent out, you mean to tell me, they're going to holler about, well, we don't have enough money. Black people told me this and others this. They told us that. How you not gonna have all? How you not gonna have enough money to pay us on our job when there was just millions of dollars sent out this stimulus package? See, that's why I'm sick of all these lies and this uh, hypocrisy. Now we got hundreds of billions of dollars been sent in to help black community because Trump said he knows that the uh, the tax incentive, whatever it was. You know, it not it wasn't gonna help everybody. So he now this right here will pass because everybody don't have a, a job thing like that. Community still need more help, and this was sent out to do that. So it's something very wrong. These people need to check their representative. Wow, because these representatives are really slick. They are really, really slick. They have to keep people mind off the things that gonna really help to keep their community. But they don't mind giving them food stamps, welfare. They don't mind keeping that on that for years. But while they feel their pockets up, they're getting wealthy, rich, and they're supposed to be for the people. All this money being sent out, it doesn't break the news. 
That's why people are steady angry and we steady divided. You got people witness this. Okay, now just what earlier, eight over mil eight hundred million dollars, millions of dollars being offered to help solve this government shutdown problem, to help solve this border crisis, to stop all of the sex trafficking coming across that border, to stop all the illegal drugs coming across that border, to stop the criminals and murderers and rapists from coming across that border, trying to protect the families over here, American families. People still whining. I just saw the news. They still whining. But I guarantee you the ones that whining got their pockets back. I guarantee you they got money. So why are they whining? It's to keep those that really need the money lost, angry and divided and broke. Steady on food stamps, steady on welfare. But their pockets and bank accounts getting politic politically wealthy and rich. And they're supposed to be helping uh, the poor people? You mean to tell me ain't no money being sent into the poor community to help build them up, build the communities up? I mean, they some of them tore up on the floor. Up. You go to some cities in town, special towns that you don't see on the map or make it on the mainstream news. It's just being tore up. This particular city in uh, Atlanta is supposed to be getting some help because it, it got a church on every block just like these districts. Churches on every block, but the community just being drained down, being drained of the very life that they have. You mean to tell me all of these world's problems is Trump's fault? You mean to tell me every single thing is this man's fault? It's just his fault. That's where the problem comes in at. That's where the big problem comes in at. Because last time I checked America, it is one nation under God. The government is for the people and by the people. You have the Independent Party, Democratic Party, and Republican Party. You have people on both, on all sizes that are against America. And you have some people on all sizes. At least I'm praying and hoping that there are some on both sides that are really doing their best to help uh, you know, families in America. I pray that there are people on all sides, the individuals that are really trying, doing their best to help everybody over here. But to put the uh, blame on one somebody is childish to me. That's a, that, that is childish. It's just like, you know, we growing up as kids and uh, something go wrong. And I, I put all the blame on, uh, he did it or she did it, she did it, he did it, mommy. They did it, mama. He did it. They did it. Oh, but I ain't do nothing. I'm not doing nothing wrong. I'm holier than thou. I haven't did nothing wrong. So I just wanted to make that point because I'm just, I'm just so sick of the uh one-sided blame game. I'm just so sick. I'm just so sick of it. Uh, if when one does wrong, all does wrong. But I want to get to where, why, where are, where are the a representative of our district? When all this money gets sent out, it's quiet as a mice. They don't break the news with that, almost as if, and clearly they don't want us to know about it. They don't want poor communities to know about the money when it comes to the millions of dollars, billions of dollars being sent out throughout the to these representatives, and many of them keep their mouth shut about that. Sound like to me they putting that money in their pockets. They be quiet. They get quiet about that. They don't want their community torn down, black communities and torn down white community to know about that money. When it comes to that money, that love of money, which is the root of all evil, the love of money. Something that is very wrong when we have all of these representatives who said they are going to help build up these communities, build up towns. Now all they doing, most of them are doing is blaming when they have money too. They have hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars of taxpayer money too, and more money being sent out. I think it's just like what's happened to many of those poor people across seas. Billions of dollars have been sent out there across seas, and the people that need it don't get it. Why? Because of the politicians over there, the same way. They get it, they will, they will um 
they'll throw a, a speech, a dream speech, or whatever speech to to hype up the people. We gonna help y'all. We gonna help y'all. And then the people vote them in. And once they get in, once that money gets sent to them, how many people that actually need the money gets it? See, that's what's really going on. It's this love of money and this greed. And they continue to brainwash the simple-minded. These people that are naive, not doing their research, they're still politically dumb like I was. They don't want to open their hearts. If you're going to be blind, if you're going to be a uh, hatred, hatred don't allow you to see, hmm, no wonder they keep throwing up this racism card. It's to stir up hatred and revenge and the majority of people who actually need the money so they don't see while they keep being pimped and played. They don't mind giving you food, something welfare for all your life. As long as you don't know about the real money. As long as your community that's broken down don't know about the real money. As long as your children grow up thinking that it's the white man's fault, the white man is all powerful, or this white woman is all powerful, they raise it, we ain't gonna never be nobody. But all this money been sent out. Black people got just as much money as these white people. Black politicians need black community got just as much money as the uh, white politicians that they keep accusing them, many of them accusing or allegedly accusing them of being racist. You ain't going to tell me that all of those people are racist. But nobody on the, oh, wow, not, they are not racist. So we need to wake up. We need to wake up, people. Be encouraged. What are your representatives doing? Because when I look at, uh, I look at, uh, I have to look at my own district and say, and, and say to myself, we have black representatives over uh, all districts. They got just as much money. But where is the money going? Just like this. Why are they not, why, how many people are actually going to hear, about, I have heard about this? Good God Almighty. Media choir after Trump launches urban council to invest $100 billion into black communities. See, if it was up to me, I would just cut myself off from all politics. But the Lord is in the Bible, though, so I can't ignore it. It's dealing with life or death situation. And I've been led by the spirit called by God to preach the word of God and preach the gospel. So I, I can't ignore it when it's intergrained, it's intertwined with our lives. It's in the Bible. Politics, the word of God tells us how politics should be, how government should be. Uh, every aspect of life should be from whatever the topic is. It doesn't matter. It's in the Bible. So I'm going to leave it there. And, and I pray to God that more and more people open their eyes about what's really going on in these last days. Because it's a lot of um, it's a lot of deception and greed and stealing going on around here. Lord knows. But God's going to keep pulling back these curtains. God's going to expose what's going on, why people ain't getting this money, or they're not hearing about the money, or people explaining it away. But I guarantee you, while they're explaining it away to the people that really need it, they putting that money in their pockets when it's been sent out to these nations and cities in town, to these black representatives and to these white, white representatives, whoever, whatever ethnic color they is. If they're not quick to spread about spread the good news, that should tell people something wrong right there. They want to keep people blinded while they keep filling their pockets up. They want to keep filling their bank accounts up while everybody else remain in the dark. They getting that money while they keep y'all mad, keeping so many people mad with this race card, this racism card. They quick to throw that card because they know they're going to get people all aroused up, mad, and uh, you can't think straight, you can't see straight. You're not when the truth is even in your face, in their faces, they can't accept it because hatred of anyone does not allow people to see clearly. That's all in the Bible, seeing blinds, and that's what's been happening to so many poor people, whether it be black or white, for years. But God opened my eyes, and I thank God He have opened my eyes to his word and what his word say about everything. Do not believe everything I see, but good Lord, seek him. Seek the seek God for your towns and your cities. Seek the Lord about your representative. Good Lord, we seen what's going on in mainstream media, but what about these towns and cities, these families that are not people born over here, that are not getting any of that money? Billions of dollars being sent out. And I'm going to leave it with this. 
I'm gonna be waiting to see, you know, is this uh this good news gonna break the rectal scale as this bad news do does in the alleged news does. They wanna put this blame game and, and things like that. I wanna see, and I especially wanna see some of these black leaders talk about uh this hundred billion dollars. I haven't seen so many of them even talking about this hundred billion dollars. They're quiet now. They're quiet. Why? Because they're probably filling up their pockets. They don't want you all to know. They don't want your poor uh black people, poor white families to know that. Ah, oh, but soon as something goes wrong, you already know who they're going to put the blame on. And good Lord, let me go ahead and end it. May God continue to open our eyes up. Everybody know when it comes to money, you can hardly trust anybody. You better trust in the Lord and pray to God. Put some people in your cities and communities. All will see this community that's going to use that money and stop stealing that money. Like even people stealing in the church house, you know, they'll steal good law in the political office. They won't use that money. What it need to be used for the church. The money is to help preach the gospel worldwide. That's one of the primary things. Yes. You got other things necessary needs and so forth. And now when it comes to the, the communities in town, that money is to help your communities in town. When you get it, they can't blame Nobody then. They got the money then. The money been sent to them. What they still whining about? What they still murmuring about? They got accounts and treasury full of money. But they want to keep people in the dark. And people about to wake up and I pray that they do. May God open these representatives' eyes, give them a good Lord, a heart of God. Give them wisdom and give them compassion in, in their hearts for those that are robbing poor families in line to their own people regardless of what their color is lying to their own towns and districts praise the name of god hallelujah